Hi, my name is Austin Turner, and I'm an application engineer here at United Electronic Industries. Today, I want to talk to you about UEI's implementation of pulse width modulation. Pulse width modulation, or PWM for short, is a technique used to pulse a signal at varying widths. This is used in a variety of applications, such as motor control, power delivery, light control, and more. The PWM signal is characterized by its frequency, amplitude, and its duty cycle. The duty cycle of a PWM signal is defined as the percentage of one period in which a signal is on. As you can see, the larger the duty cycle, or on time, the larger the average voltage over one cycle period. At UEI, we support PWM applications with our DIO-432 and our DIO-433 boards. They are PWM syncing and sourcing boards, respectively. The guardian features on board are a set of powerful diagnostic tools, allowing you to measure the current and voltage on each individual channel. Each channel can be configured with high and low current limits and can act as a circuit breaker if the current passes these limits. Here I'll be demonstrating using our DIO 432 board in a LabVIEW application, controlling these incandescent lights. Here is an equivalent circuit of the setup. 28 volts DC connects to one terminal of the light. The other terminal is connected to a channel of our syncing PWM board, the DIO 432. The DIO 432 acts as a switch to complete the circuit to the return line of the power supply. UEI has built-in functions for controlling these lights. These are our soft start, soft stop, and soft start and stop functions. In this example, I'll be showing the soft start option for the lights, which is useful for limiting the on current of incandescent bulbs. As you can see, the lights gradually turn on until they are at max duty cycle. This next demonstration will show the lights at varying duty cycles. The lights are at 25%, 50%, and 100%. You can see that the higher the duty cycle, the brighter the light. This final demonstration will show the circuit breaker functionality of the DIO 432. Incandescent bulbs have an inrush current that is around 10 times the normal on current. By monitoring the current, we can set a max value that, when crossed, will open the circuit similar to the action of a circuit breaker. You can also set a retry rate to attempt to close the circuit in case the high current has faded. I've set my current to monitor at a faster rate than before so that I can capture that quick inrush current and I've also set my current threshold to one amp. Using soft stop mode, you can see that when I activate the lights, the current spikes and trips the breakers. The retry function closes the circuit, causing a continuous cycle of the lights starting and tripping the breaker and then retrying. You can download this LabVIEW example and more from our website. Got a question about pulse width modulation? Give us a call, send us an email, or visit us online at www.ueidaq.com.